Hey kids, in this quick series of four videos, we're going to cover what you need to do to first identify any Google penalties you may have earned, and then from there, what you need to do to get them removed, how to gather your critical data, how to read it, then how to clean up your website for long-term rankings. We'll also cover how to submit a re-inclusion request that will be approved, and we'll cover how the recovery process goes, including how to get back on the top of the page one rankings. That said, in this video, we're only going to cover the first important step. Whether you've been hit with a Google penalty, maybe just suspect that you have, or if you just want to know how this works and what to look for to avoid it or how to handle it if you do run into trouble, then stick with us as we'll take you through the process step by step. So let's get to it. Identifying a Google penalty. Monitoring your website traffic and keeping on top of your search ranking standings are two extremely important aspects to ensuring a successful business. So if you've noticed a decrease in traffic or a considerable drop in your search rankings, then you may have been hit with a Google penalty. But how do you know for sure? First things first, are you monitoring your website's ranking? If you are not, then it is high time to start. Otherwise, you'll never be able to spot Google penalties before they hurt your business. How to stay on track monitoring your data. Monitoring your website ranking does not have to be time consuming, and there are plenty of places online to help you stay on top of your data with just a few clicks of the mouse. Among them are, of course, Google Analytics. And even though Google Analytics no longer provides specific keywords used to find your site, it still provides an in-depth glance into your site's overall health and tracks changes in your organic traffic. Google Analytics is a great foundation to start with and it interacts well with many of the other SEO tools you will find online. The service is free and offers many useful features to help you monitor your website traffic and ranking status, so don't neglect to use it. Google's Webmaster Tools are also free, and they play an important part in monitoring your website as well as optimizing it. Moz Rank Tracker links to your Google Analytics account, and it does require that you be a pro subscriber, so even though it's not free, it still offers some valuable SEO tools. If you do have a Google penalty, you can use the 30-day free trial to try and recover your site from the penalty. Search Metrics offers a snapshot of your website's search visibility over a period of time. This allows you to pinpoint when problems occurred, giving you a better idea of what changes happened during that time and then how to fix them. Search Metrics offers a paid subscription for users who need a larger time period displayed, but there is a free version for those who only need to go back a few months. With so many of these valuable tools at your fingertips, there really is no reason why you should not be monitoring your website regularly and thoroughly. All of this available data has a large impact on your sales funnel, so start keeping an eye on all the vitally important data. If you don't have all that much information to display when you start, don't be discouraged. If you have not been doing much to your website and no monitoring has been going on, there will likely be little information displayed at first. But as you continue to work on the progress of your website, more and more information will begin to populate these great tools that you are using. SEO Site Checkup also offers a wide variety of free SEO tools to help monitor your website, all under one hood. Be sure to use the tools to check for undesired links, for improper tagging, and a variety of other on-page factors that could send negative signals to Google about your site. Now let's identify the different types of Google penalties. One of the first steps to identifying that you have a Google penalty is to know what exactly that Google penalty is. So let's take a second here to understand the types of penalties Google might throw at you like algorithmic penalties. During a Google algorithm update, these types of penalties are automatically distributed to websites that flag behaviors that are outside of Google's new guidelines. If you are suddenly hit by an algorithmic penalty from Google, then just go check to see what the major updates were that occurred recently. In the past few years, for instance, Google's 2011 Panda update targeted quite simply low-quality content, thus content farms were hit the hardest. But anyone with low-quality, irrelevant, plagiarized, or keyword-stuffed content received hefty penalties as well. In 2012, the Penguin update targeted poor-quality links. The goal was to eliminate all those sites that were paying for links, using automated link-building software, or otherwise obtaining low-quality links to game the system. In 2013, the Hummingbird update went after sites with long-tail search queries, among other issues. The main goal of this update was to create a more stable searching system for users by understanding human speech and getting away from random keyword searching. So since many people use their phones, their mobile devices, or voice recognition devices for searching, the update made it easier for those users to ask a question and get useful results. 
so the content receiving the best rankings became the ones who answered the particular question, not merely the sites who just had the related keywords in their search. So in addition to these major updates that come out from time to time to try and clean up the messy, wild west internet landscape, bear in mind that manual review penalties can occur at any time and for a variety of reasons. Now, obviously, with the astronomical amount of websites on the internet and the limited amount of Google staff on the web spam team, most manual review penalties begin with a triggered algorithmic penalty. If you receive a manual review penalty, you will receive an email notification in Google's Webmaster Tools. Now, you have to take action immediately, and upon responding, wait for the response to be reviewed by the web spam team. You can check for these types of penalties by logging into your Google Webmaster account and selecting Manual Actions listed under Search Traffic. If no penalties are on your site, you will see a message saying no manual web spam actions found. But if you do see a penalty, there are two possible types. A site-wide penalty. This is a penalty that you really, really, really do not want to see. This penalty means that Google has viewed your site as spam within the search results. This penalty reduces your search rankings dramatically, or it at least caps the ranking to a page buried deep down within the results, which effectively might as well leave you invisible. And there are times when this type of penalty results in a site being completely de-indexed or even blacklisted. Yikes. I'm just going to go out on a limb here and assume that you don't want that. A partial manual penalty means that the manual reviewer believes that your site is on the up and up as a whole, but that you have some issues within some or all of your pages. It is usually slapped on websites that have a few undesirable links, or whose content quality does not match Google's guidelines on some of your pages. A partial manual penalty does not always affect the site's search rankings, but the severity of the penalty can only be known by site owners who have been actively tracking their site's data. So let's stress again how important that is to do so. So, brass tacks. How exactly does one go about finding a Google penalty? First stop, you can check your indexing. If you are concerned about a site-wide penalty, there's a quick and easy way to check. Type in site colon yourdomain.com into Google and hit enter. This limits the search to only bring up your domain, and if nothing shows up, you are not in the searches. If your site was already indexed into the Google search pages and is now missing in action, a site-wide penalty or blacklisting is the only possible cause. However, if your site is new, keep in mind that it takes anywhere from a day to a week to be indexed, so don't panic if your brand spanking new site hasn't shown up yet. You can also check Google Webmaster Tools. Just log in to Google Webmaster Tools and check for notifications. You can check for manual review penalties by clicking Search Traffic, Manual Actions in the sidebar. You can check your keywords. If you have noticed a drop in your website traffic, but it shows up when entering hyper-specific queries in Google, you may be suffering from a partial penalty. Type in site colon yourdomain.com and the main keyword into Google, then hit enter. Now swap out the main keyword for whatever search terms you would use to find your site. If one or more of your pages does not show up, you may be suffering from a partial penalty. Now try searching for your brand name. If you are not on page for your brand, then there is a serious problem. You can also check your page rank. Go to prchecker.info, enter your domain name into the search bar, and hit enter. You will have a page rank display that you can use to compare to past rankings. If your ranking is lower than it has been, you may have a penalty to contend with. That said, just keep in mind that page rank is rarely updated, so any recent penalties may not show a decrease in page rank right away. Check your traffic. Again, Google Analytics is a great place to view your traffic and get an idea of when traffic started to drop. Check back several months if you have to, but find out when the decrease occurred or started occurring so you can begin to work out what the possible problems and solutions are. Then check out how Google updates have affected your site. Fruition.net needs to be linked to your Google Analytics account, but it will show you how many times your website has been affected by a Google update. The site shows you if your site was affected positively or negatively. The last three months of data is unavailable in the free versions, but you can get a paid subscription for a nominal fee. Just bear in mind that fruition data is not 100% accurate. It is based on estimations, and so much of the data is just slightly off, but nevertheless, it is still very informative. To reiterate, stay on top of the data of your website with the right monitoring and tracking tools, such as Google Analytics, Webmaster Tools, Moz Tools, and all the free tools from SEO Site Checkup. Algorithmic penalties don't require any appeals or contact between you and Google. They only require you fix the problem. Address manual penalties immediately for the fastest results, but be sure you have corrected the underlying problems first, otherwise you're just wasting your time. 
Use Webmaster Tools, Fruition.net, and Google searches to check for penalties anytime you notice a decrease in traffic to your site or lowered page rankings. So that's it, really. Just check out some of these powerful monitoring solutions and be sure to fit them into your routine. In the next video in this series, we'll dig deeper into what typically causes these Google penalties and how to go about fixing them. Feel free to check out our other videos so you can keep fine-tuning and getting the most out of your SEO. And click subscribe to stay updated with new tips and tricks to get you to the top of the search engine results pages.